Does anyone know how people heard sound at drive-in movies? You know, who know? Tell us, Mr. Audio. Drive-in movies were the creation of Richard Hollingshead, who first nailed a bedsheet between trees in his backyard and mounted a movie projector to the hood of his car. Hollingshead was awarded a patent and opened his first commercial drive-in that held about 400 cars in Camden, New Jersey in 1933. For movies with sound, he used loudspeakers so that everyone could hear the audio track. It was a commercial success and very convenient for people who lived in the suburbs and no longer had to drive all the way downtown to see a film. After World War II, with the invention of the all-weather individual car speaker that could be placed in the window of each car, the popularity of the drive-in theaters increased. By 1958, there were about 5,000 drive-ins from coast to coast. In the late 70s, as movies transitioned from mono to surround sound, the individual car speakers were replaced by broadcasting the soundtrack to a locally unused FM stereo frequency. Each car would then tune in to hear the movie on the car radio. Rising real estate prices combined with cable TV, VCRs, and the ubiquitous multiplexes in the burbs led to the general demise of drive-ins. But there are still a few in business today. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.